Hi Toots, then uh, continuation part of this uh, selective repeat protocol. Uh, here in the in the earlier uh, video we seen that uh, uh, some of the problems and uh, among that uh, major problem is whenever acknowledgement is lost, when the whenever uh, acknowledgement is lost, uh, when uh, after that if this sender is sending the same set of uh, packets, same set of uh, same window uh, of packets is sended. Uh, retransmitted <coughs> receiver is assuming that it is as a different set of packets so but actually this is already received by the destination the already received by the receiver so we have to be uh, uh, we have to be prohibit this one we have to control this one so for that solution one is like in go back and uh, in go back and we adjusted the window sizes of sender and receiver so in this case also we are going to be adjusted and the same in case B we used one formula that is window size of sender plus window size of receiver this should be always less than or equal to available sequence numbers total available sequence numbers so we are adopting the same formula in this case also in the selective repeat protocol also and the second one is <coughs> both window sizes sender and the window size of receiver always should be equal so with this whatever we face the problem whenever acknowledgement is lost we are going to solve that one so let us see how it is going to be solved if you take the same example whatever we seen earlier uh, here window size is uh, total sequence numbers 3 bit sequence numbers 3 bits we are using for sequence numbers means 8 sequence numbers are possible so if you see this formula both window sizes should be equal and uh, those window sizes of sender and receiver should be less than or equal to total available sequence number in this case total available sequence numbers are 8 right so and this this and this both should be satisfied so in this case both are equal means we can take half of 8 sequence numbers means 4 plus 4 we can take right window size of sender and window size of receiver 3 3 we can take 2 2 we can take 1 1 we can take but 1 1 we should not take if you take 1 1 it will not it is nothing but stop and wait protocol so that's why we are not going to take it and by default half of exactly half of the available sequence numbers we will consider always of course we can take 3 3 2 2 also but by default we are taking as exactly half like in go back and we always consider sender window size is n minus 1 of total available sequence numbers by default that one of course we we can take less than that number also so here we are taking as window size of 4 4 so it is going to be send 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 7 this is the current window 0 to 3 so it is sended 0 1 2 then 3 it is transmitted so all packets it is transmitted sender to receiver so it received assume any other it can receive so after receiving and after sorting 0 1 2 3 and it given the acknowledgement for all these packets assume these acknowledgements are lost so after timeout occurs as we seen earlier it is going to retransmit the same window because till getting the acknowledgement for the current window of packets it is not going to move this window to the next package so that's why it is still maintaining this window so it is retransmitting this is retransmitting it is retransmitting the all the packets 3 but it already received 0 1 2 3 and it is expecting next sequence number as 4 right those sequence numbers uh, window sizes are different but it is expecting sequence number as 4 so whenever it is expecting sequence numbers but it is received 
this 1 2 0 1 2 3 but it is not expecting these packets so it will assume that it is already received and it will uh, think it will assume that when acknowledgement is given that acknowledgement may lost in between so that's why sender is retransmitted these packets so it is going to give acknowledgement now for all these packets assume in the second case uh, in the second time acknowledgements received the destination the sender properly so this way we are going to be solve the problem of last acknowledgement case in the selector repeat protocol so like in uh, <coughs> as we see in in the go back end uh, like n available sequence numbers n maximum sequence number k bits of sequence numbers so here also we are going to derive those formulas here so suppose n is maximum available sequence numbers means n is the total sequence numbers so window size of sender window size of receiver is what so if total sequence numbers is n means we are considering half so n by 2 and here n by 2 here total sequence numbers are 8 so window size of sender and window size of receiver we taken as n by 2 right second one is if this n is maximum sequence number right maximum sequence number means if total sequence numbers are 8 so if it is if it is starting with 0 so total sequence numbers are 0 to 7 so here n is this one this 7 maximum sequence number among this set of numbers so 7 is definitely it is the odd number so odd number this number plus 1 is the total sequence numbers then by 2 is half of that uh, total sequence numbers so that we are setting as window size of sender and receiver so n is the maximum sequence number so definitely it is the odd number plus 1 it will become even number by 2 will be the half of the total sequence numbers so same like here also right then in the third case suppose k is number of bits we are using for sequence numbers so like here 3 bits we are using so means here k bits we are using so with the 3 bits 8 sequence numbers are possible with the k bits 2 raised to k sequence numbers are possible total sequence numbers so in the total sequence numbers window size of receiver 2 raised to k total sequence numbers among this half we are setting as the window size of sender and receiver so half means by 2 so this is nothing but 2 raised to k minus 1 so 2 raised to k minus 1 is window size of sender and window size of receiver so this is the way we are going to be solve the problems in the selective re repeat protocol and uh, these are the different possibilities then in the next session we will see the problems commonly uh, commonly in the sense together of go back end and selective repeat then uh, we will see the how to solve the stop and wait uh, uh, the sliding window protocol problems uh, by using set of sequence of steps so in the next session we will see the some of the problems over this uh, go back and and select repeat protocol thank you for watching